this is Kian again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tonight's story is from Stories from Around the World for Little Children. Tonight's bedtime story is The Dragon Painter. This story reminds me of when my family and I took a trip to Hong Kong and saw beautiful, colorful dragons. Dragon Painter. Chang was a painter. Everyone loved his pictures. People came from all over China to see them. Chang painted misty mountains with craggy rocks and tumbling waterfalls. He painted pots filled with beautiful blossoms. But his animal pictures were best of all. His butterflies seemed to flutter on the paper. His birds had a lively twinkle in their eyes, and you could almost see his rabbits twitch their noses. Chang and his pictures became famous. Even the Emperor of China heard about them. Summon Chang to the palace, he ordered. I need a new painter to decorate my new temple. Chang bowed low before the emperor. I will do my best for you, he promised. Chang planned a splendid display. I'll paint four dragons, he thought. One on each wall. The large crowds gathered to watch Chang paint. On the first wall, he painted a dragon with scales of shimmering pearl. Clouds of steam bellowed from its mouth. Only one thing was missing. The dragon had no eyes. A jade green dragon leaped out from the second wall. It had bushy eyebrows and a sharp spiked nose. But this dragon's eyes were missing too. The third dragon was shining gold with a long cold tail curling around its body. The gold dragon didn't have any eyes either. Why aren't you painting in their eyes? Asked the people watching Chang. Chang simply smiled and kept on painting. The last dragon was the most magnificent of all. It had fiery red scales, wicked claws, and snapping jaws, but it still had no eyes. Chang put down his paintbrush and turned to the emperor. Do you like my dragon, sir? He asked. Very much, said the emperor. But where are their eyes? Oh. I can't paint their eyes, sir, said Chang. Dragons are, magic, are magical creatures. If I paint their eyes, they will come to life. Nonsense, said the emperor. I won't have unfinished dragons on my walls. Paint in their eyes this minute. Chang had no choice but to obey the emperor. With a wobbly hand, he painted in the eyes of the, the pearl white dragon. Boom! A rumble of thunder shook the temple. The sky grew dark. Chang paused. What are you waiting for? Boomed the emperor at almost as loud as the thunder. Get on with it! So Chang doubted in the eyes of the jade dragon the gold dragon, and the fearsome, fiery red dragon. As Chang finished, crack! A bolt of lightning slammed into the temple roof and burst it open. The, dra the jade dragon blinked once, twice. It lifted its head. Its spiky nose cracked one of the temple columns. 
the pearl dragon yawned, showing its sharp white teeth. It breathed out clouds of burning steam. The people nearby ran for their lives. With a roar, both dragons jumped out from their walls. They soared into the air and flew through the hole in the roof. They rose higher and higher until they until they disappeared altogether. Chang saw the red and gold dragons begin to stir. He snatched up his brush and painted strong chains around their necks. However much they rattled their chains, they couldn't fly away. The emperor had to be content with only two dragons on his walls, but everyone agreed they were the best painted dragons in all of China. The end. Thank you for watching this week's episode. Make sure to subscribe and like at the bottom.